This is Sports Court. Here we settle the most contested sports arguments of all time. Ryan thinks that one and done Carmelo Anthony is the best tournament player ever. Susanna believes Christian Leitner is the best, even though most people don't remember who that is. Sports Court is brought to you by ICOM. Sports Court is now in session. Ladies and gentlemen, the NCAA tournament is where legends are born. But who is the greatest tournament player of all time? Ms. Collins, please begin. I would like to start by introducing my first piece of evidence. This is a mortarboard, a graduation cap, if you will. I received one of these after I spent four years at college and graduated. That's the same amount of time Christian Leitner spent at Duke University playing basketball. Four years, four consecutive trips to the Final Four, two consecutive championship appearances, five NCAA tournament records. I could go on and on, Your Honor. Get to the point. My point is, is that in four years, Christian Leitner contributed so much to college basketball, also in the tournament, as opposed to, I'm sorry, how many, how many Your seasons? Your Honor, if I may, I think what Ms. Collins is trying to say is that you should focus on quantity and not quality, because that's what Christian Leitner's career is. How old was Carmelo Anthony when he achieved all of what he did in the tournament? 18, if I may introduce my first piece of evidence. This is a photograph. That's me at 18 years old. That's me you're drinking. Brave. You're brave, counsel. Acting a fool. I'm not leading a team to a national championship. So let's also look at what Carmelo Anthony was just able to do as an 18 year old. We're talking a guy who scored 53 points in the national semifinal and the final combined. Mm -hmm. More than Christian Leitner did in any of his final four appearances. Hmm. These are numbers that we apply to Danny Manning, Magic Johnson, are these the legends irrelevant. of college basketball. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Counselor, did you just say Magic Johnson is irrelevant? With all due respect, this is about Carmelo Anthony mm -hmm. and Christian Leitner, Your Honor. And was Carmelo Anthony ever perfect? Because Christian Leitner was against Kentucky, 1992. 10 for 10 from the field, 10 for 10 from the free throw line, including one of the most iconic shots in NCAA tournament history, the turnaround jumper, the last second to send them to the final four, Your Honor. Do All out. Evidence speaks for itself. Do we care about the final four game in which he only scored eight points against Indiana and Duke won despite him? Something that would have never happened with Carmelo Anthony in Syracuse because he carried the team through the entire tournament. How many other players from those Duke teams went to the NBA? I'll tell you, it's six that got drafted. How many other players from Syracuse got drafted? It's one. It's Hakeem Warwick. Pardon me. Do you know, uh, do you know uh, Overruled, overruled. Akeem Warwick, not a real person. You Thank just you. made that up. My counter to that argument, yeah. sir, Carmelo Anthony, selfish. Selfish player, okay. doesn't trust okay. his teammates. If he was so selfish, can you name another Syracuse player that he should have passed to? I cannot. Mm, okay, okay, noted. Your client is just a, a one of a line of boring I'm white sorry, basketball players who I did would like, nothing I would as like professionals. To, I would, I, I would Mr. Like Nanny, to, I would appreciate you keeping race out of this. As a boring oh, white man myself, Honor, I think I'm Your entitled. Honor, Your Honor, I would like to introduce my second piece of evidence. Please do, let's Thank move you. on. We oh, talk yeah. about contributions. I would like to introduce this piece right here, Bailiff, here you go. Christian Leitner became a cultural icon in 1992 after hitting that shot against Kentucky. So the turnaround many jumper. Of base was there, Carmelo Honor? Anthony one of People Magazine's 50 most beautiful what people? Was, was he? Was he? I was, object to this cheese. Was he? Your was Honor. he that? Sustained. Was I do he not that know important? that that is not just a 90210 actor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. It, it, don't, don't, Can get, I have this? don't get lost. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Let's move on. Let's, Mr. Nanny, what else do you let's have? Let's talk about 1992 and let's talk about culture. And if I may, I'd like to introduce my last piece of evidence. Bailiff, if I could, if, yeah. um, if you're done. Do you want me to hold that? No, I'm going to put it here. Just thought I'd offer. This is a photo of your client mm -hmm. oh. representing mm. our country in the Olympics That's right. with the dream That's team. That's right. Do you know who the other option was for that team? Shaquille O'Neal. Oh. We have been down this road I'm, before, I'm, I'm Your sorry. Honor. We I'm have sorry. deferred. I'm sorry. Are you defending we Shaquille O'Neal or Carmelo Anthony? We have deferred to Christian Leitner's so-called legacy over superior athleticism once before. I'm sorry. And we got that doofus. Did he to appoint himself it. to the Dream Team? He could have easily bowed out. He could have said, "I don't deserve to Why be here." Would he but he's the selfish one, and he you know it. He's in the Hall of Fame. 
I think I've heard about enough and certainly seen more than I need to. You can take that away. Uh, Mr. Nanny, what you said about quality versus quantity is an apt point, but Mr. Leitner's career also included a great deal of quality. I'm gonna have to take both into account, partially because Christian Leitner needs this more. I'm gonna announce it. Christian Leitner as the greatest tournament player of all time. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Miss Collins, as the winner of this edition of Sports Court, you are entitled to Ooh! oh, a delicious serving of IHOPs, double dip, peanut butter, oh. banana, and chocolate French toast. Enjoy. Yeah! This is for you, Leitner. Woo! Ryan, you lost. How do you feel? Not surprised. Judge Ufford's one of the best-known haters on the bench, so of course he's going to side with the most hated guy in college basketball history. Thank you, Ryan. Susanna, you won. How do you feel? I think you're impressive. If I get to eat some French toast, I'm winning. I'm a winner. 